Hey, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to learn about how the network addressing and the name resolution works in Azure. When resources are deployed in virtual network, they need to resolve domain name to internal IP addresses. They can use either Azure DNS private zones or Azure provided name resolution or name resolution that uses your own DNS server as well. In this table, you can see different scenarios and corresponding name resolution solutions. Please note that Azure DNS private zone is the preferred solution and gives you flexibility in managing your DNS zones and records. And if you use Azure provided DNS, then appropriate DNS suffix will be automatically applied to your virtual machines. For all other options, you must either use fully qualified domain names or manually apply appropriate DNS suffix to your virtual machines. So let's dive deep into Azure provided name resolution. Azure provided name resolution provides only basic authoritative DNS capabilities. If you use this option, the DNS zone names and records will be automatically managed by Azure and you will not be able to control the DNS zone names or the lifecycle of the DNS records. And if you need a fully featured DNS solution for your virtual networks, you must use Azure DNS zones or customer managed DNS servers. If you use Azure provided name resolution, these are the listed features which you will get. You don't need any configuration, you get high availability and you don't need to create and manage clusters of your own DNS servers. Additionally, you can use the service in conjunction with your own DNS servers to resolve both on-premises and Azure host names. Then you can use name resolution between VMs in virtual network that use the Azure Resource Manager deployment model without the need for an FQDN. And virtual network in the classic deployment model require an FQDN when you are resolving names in different cloud services. What about the name resolution using your own DNS server? Azure provides the ability for you to use your own DNS servers. DNS servers within a virtual network can forward DNS queries to the recursive resolvers in Azure. This enables you to resolve host names Within that virtual network, forwarding queries allows VMs to see both your on-premises resources and Azure provided host names. DNS forwarding also enables DNS resolutions between virtual networks and allows your on-premises machine to resolve Azure provided host names. This is the following image which shows two virtual network and an on-premises network doing DNS resolution between virtual network by using this method. That concludes this episode. In the next lesson, we are going to learn about how can you recommend solutions for network security. I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care.